Hello everyone, my name is Jitendra Bafna. In this video, we will going to see a live demonstration on how to create a virtual private network or any point VPN. And we will use a GCP as our private cloud. So basically, how we can use, how we can connect the services running in the GCP, you know, uh, using VPN. So basically why we require the VPN. So when you want to connect your application or services running on your on-premise data center from your cloud hub application, in that case you go with VPN. If any, any application running in your private network or private cloud, you need a VPN, you know, for application deployed to the cloud hub to access any backend services, you know. So in this tutorial, uh, in my previous video, I have already explained the concept, architecture, use cases, what are the different ways of creating the VPN. We have already seen in last video. So please go through that. It is recommended you go through that video before watching this. So in this video, we will use there are uh, two kind of right routing static and dynamic. So we will use dynamic routing using BGP. BGP is nothing. It's a broader gateway protocol in static routing. If you want to connect to any subnet, if you want to connect to the multiple subnets, right? Multiple networks. In that case, you have to configure all the CIDR mass in the static route of your any point VPN. In case of BGP or dynamic routing, you don't have to do that. It because it communicate on ASN number, autonomous system number. So basically, whatever uh, we networks within that uh, ASN number, you can directly connect it. You don't have to every time add the new routes or new CIDR mask in the VPN. So let's start. The first thing I will go to GCP. Okay. So in GCP, basically you, you can go to you know uh, uh, under the network. In networking, you can go to hybrid connectivity. You can go to VPN. So first, I will create a VPN. I will use a classic VPN. You can use a high availability also. S configuration remain almost same. Continue. So now you can see as a uh, Mule VPN demo. Okay. Default network US, you can create a new IP address. I can say Mule VPN IP. I can say reserve. So basically, it will give one public IP address, a remote IP address that we need to configure on any point VPN. So I got a public IP address. Let me copy this IP address, which is 35. Dot 239.197.6 okay i will copy this basically this is required now i can go to my any point platform here we have a runtime manager vpn you can create vpn so i can again say i can give some name mule demo vpn you can select the VPC. We have already seen how to create a VPC. This is the remote IP address. So where you want to connect, we can use static of BGP. We, I will use BGP. So as I mentioned, BGP communicate over the ESN number. So I will use the remote ESN. This is my GCP ESN and this is my MuleSoft ESN 64512 and 65001. Let's say create VPN. So once you create a VPN, it will give a tunnel one and the tunnel two configuration that you need to share and configure on the GCP. How, how we can configure? I will show it. So it takes some time for generating that configuration. So I will wait till it generate the configuration. So it will generate two tunnels for high availability purpose. Let's keep refreshing the page. So 
so because we required this configuration needs to be done on GCP side so basically it will give its own uh, tunnel IP remote IP address and all those things so we got that so currently IPsec is down status both are down even your VPN is pending it's connected but still pending okay so now you have this tunnel config 1 and tunnel config 2 so these are the two tunnels then I can go to my GCP and I can start configuring the my tunnel yeah so you can see tunnels so new item I will say mule demo tunnel 1 that's it I have to provide a remote peer IP address so how can you get it so this is uh, these are the three IP addresses and all this is my remote peer IP address you have to configure it here then pre shared key that is the authentication key so okay we required some authentication it use pre shared key which is known as a pre SK I can use control V make sure that you have copied the correct key now I have to create a router so I will use dynamic only mule demo I can say router network US or whatever here you have to provide a Google ASN 65001 make sure we have configured 65001 remote ASN that is the Google ASN make sure it's same create okay now we have to create a BGP session so I can say mule BGP mule demo BGP one we okay peer ASN that is the remote ASN which is the mule soft ASN 64512 now you have to provide cloud router BGP IP so you can go hit remote point to point IP address copy this IP address go there and paste it okay make sure no spaces here then this local point to point IP address copy go to BGP and provide it here 169.254.17.33 I can say save and continue so we have already create a one tunnel now okay now you can create a second tunnel also so as I suggest mule demo tunnel 2 okay now you have to provide a remote IP address of tunnel 2 so this is my remote IP address of tunnel 2 then pre shared key for the tunnel 2 this is my pre shared key copy this paste it here okay don't give space otherwise it don't connect then cloud router so you can use the same cloud router which you have created for tunnel run BGP session will change again I will say mule demo BGP 2 peer ASN 64512 now you have to provide this IP addresses so first I will copy a remote point to point IP address then I will copy local point to point IP address okay so you can see both IP addresses you can save and continue these are the settings you need to do so you have created both the tunnel you can say create once it will create it you can see this will turn into green guys let's wait while it's creating a tunnel 1 and tunnel 2 for us So guys it's still creating a tunnel 1 and tunnel 2 so it takes some time 
so you can keep refreshing your page I think there is no need of doing that so guys like I have published around 7 videos on VPC, VPN and dedicated load balancer with all the concept architecture and all with live demonstration so you can go uh, through video one by one always start with part one part two part three part four part five part six and part seven so this will really help you if you see in between it will not help you because you I want to make sure you don't miss any concepts so you can see everything is stabilized here you can see everything is good what happens here here is an article okay you can go through that article it's showing everything here so you can see your tunnel 2 is up so one tunnel is up that's fine like you know your status is available and you are able to connect the tunnel okay so you can see the status is up you know everything is up so basically you can see your tunnel is also up okay so at least one tunnel needs to be up as yes, the second will also come up in some time so basically you can see your VPN status is available so currently this is working in active passive mode so if both are up it will automatically work in active active mode basically okay so so for communication you have to make sure at least one tunnel is up either tunnel 1 or tunnel 2 with your private cloud uh, or on-premise uh, cloud or on-premise data center always make sure at least one tunnel is up okay see so basically no? so both tunnel is good looks good and sometimes uh, this here you, it's everything is correct so sometimes you have to make sure you know uh, basically if it's not able to connect or anything is going down or anything is not working fine you know in that case you have to check your configuration to make sure everything is up and running the tunnel is up and running so, okay. so that is how you can configure your tunnels basically okay and that is how you can connect to your uh, VPN so if now if I have any services running within this network I am able to connect from my cloud up as I mentioned at least one tunnel must be up and running so when it works in active passive mode one tunnel will up and other tunnel will be down also one thing you need to make sure like you know generally what happen if tunnel is not getting the traffic for few minutes the tunnel will goes down automatically so you need to make sure at least you send some artificial traffic within the VPC you keep on sending some traffic every 10 seconds 20 seconds to you know to the to the Apple to the v application deployed within the VPC the tunnel you know so that is how you can uh, like create a VPN in any VPN uh, with GCP basically I hope you like the video if you like this video please click on like and subscribe button thanks for watching